so there's a light dusting of snow you can see there behind me and a bit of a breeze building up thankfully however it's not as bad as when you last saw me in this area where I nearly got drowned So the right of me is Sheffield Pike. Now today I'm hopefully going to bag at least three fells. Beyond that crag there is Stiver Dodd, but my first fell today is going to be Rays. Uh, Rays is quite popular with skiers, a bit of a, a ski slope and ski lifts up there. Heading further south is Whiteside. Once I hit that fell, I'm going to head back down Stiver Dodd and then I've got an option of going across to Heartside. All will add to my list of eastern fells. Photography wise we'll see what happens. It's a pretty good hiking day he says. No forecast of heavy winds or rains which is a bonus. The cloud line just kissing that crag there, I reckon it's about 600 metres. Hopefully we will get a break of light. It's currently 10 minutes past sunrise and I'm looking towards Ulls Water. There's a little bit of colour in the sky but nothing really, there's no direct light. So we'll just have to see. I've got my full collection of lenses in the bag and we're all set to go. Bit of a short break just to take in some liquid before I head west up towards Sticks Pass. Um, from there, I'm gonna head up towards Ray's White Side, then the wood back towards Stabrit Dodd. Just a quick scan around because the cloud is lifting, some lovely light going on there. Look at this. So there you've got rays and that goes around to Stabredard. Very nice, isn't that? It's a shame I've no real foreground interest that I've, I would have taken a shot. Maybe options of telephoto, we'll have to see. Now that is my other option, that's Heartside. Um, heading towards there. Um, it's, the wind's picking up, it's quite chilly, uh, no doubt it will get colder as I ascend. Um, as I said it's about mid 800s, so the cloud line is currently around 800 meter mark. Uh, we'll see what happens. Right, heading west, here we go. <sighs> Nothing much going on. Wind's definitely picked up. Nothing really standing out as much. It's, um, other than the stream sticks, which is Sticks Gill, it's pretty featureless is this little valley. Um, it's not exactly a Langstrath valley, put it one way, there's no trees. Uh, some good photographic focal points. Um, I know I always seem to start out these uh, hikes with the thought that am I going to get something today? <laughs> it's moment in time I've got nothing. Um, nothing really prominent. A quick look around what I mean. There's no, there's no break of light as yet. And it would seem, as I head up to the top of Sticks Pass, that I am going to head into the uh, cloud baseline. Uh, so we'll have to see what visibility is like once we start to ascend to rays. Um, yeah, okay. 
forever hopeful though, forever hopeful. And as soon as I say that, there's a break in life. <laughs> That's exactly what I want. So as predicted, we are in Clag. The visibility of what around 50 metres, I guess. I've reached the top of Sticks Pass. Uh, I'm heading now up towards Ray's. Uh, the T junction then, if I turn right, would take me to Stay Barra Dodd. So that's what I'm going to do on my way back down. Um, yeah, photographic opportunities are nil. Probably at this moment in time. I'm hoping for a break of light, um, but we will have to see. The wind, as you can probably guess, is gusting. It predicted gusts of around 30 mile per hour. I reckon it's a bit more than that. Thankfully, it's not raining heavily. Slight rain, but nothing to. Uh, dampen the spirits as it was. Right, let's crack on to raise. First fell of the day. So it's not heavy rain, but it's constant fine rain uh, and I'm getting wet so I've put the old waterproofs on to try and keep as dry as possible um, where's the cairn? somewhere back there somewhere back there and that white side did raise um, but it's, it's just going to be a, a quick trip back to raise now am I steaming up? I don't know uh, back to Ray's and then head up to Starbury Dob. I can't see this subsiding at all. Photography wise, non-existent. So at this moment time that is, I'm just going to get the films done um, and see where we are in regards to if we can do outside as well. Really chilly um, as well. Finally got some waterproof gloves seal skin these are keeping me nice and dry so these are certainly doing the trick okay so i'm now gonna a bit of a rest intake of food and liquid and head back i was nearing the end of the hike approaching my final fell of the day heart side as you can see it wasn't exactly a playground for photography with the open, featureless grassland and still limited visibility. It needed light, and that's exactly what I got. In that moment, however, I was just happy to witness it, but still burning to come away with something for the day. There was probably opportunities looking back now, but that time has now passed, and now left with the memories. Today has been very hard work and very limited opportunities. In fact, no opportunities at all whilst I was walking the higher fells. Um, I managed to get up to Stybridor, then up to Heartside, and now I've descended on my way back down to Glencoyne. There's about an hour left, probably less in fact. Uh, so look, what time are we on now? Yeah, about an hour. Sunset half four, half three. Um, opportunities wise, we've got some lovely light going on over Ulls Water, but of course, not in the right place, right time. I've made use of this lovely stone wall, it's nice meandering, nice curved shapes, 
uh, put that in the mid ground using the grasses as well as a bit of foreground interest taking a shot using my 35 millimeter lens and the background and some nice light being shone on place fell just above Hull's water. Um, telephoto making use of the lines and the shapes of the snow, little splashes of snow just hanging around on the fell side and just incorporating the clouds as well but yeah <laughs> what what a very small window of opportunity fell wise yeah we've clocked off for another four of the eastern fells today so really that's two trips two hikes in succession where not the best photography days, but it comes around, doesn't it? That's what landscape photography is about, really. It's about getting out, but not expecting that it's gonna fall your way when the conditions are just right. Hopefully next time, who knows? It may be. I wanna see what happens. There might be a last bit of light. I'm gonna make my way down. There might be something else appears. Um, but in the meantime, I'll say goodbye, keep smiling until next time, bye bye for now, and here's the gallery of what we did manage to get today.